there everyone welcome to poor painting with ron i hope you've been really well since the last time we saw each other well today i'm going to be doing a similar painting to what i did last time i'm going to be doing a like feather feathery sort of swipe using my bloom recipe on an ordinary acrylic base um, now the canvas i'm going to be using today is the same as last time 40 centimeters by 80 centimeters um, and just like last time I've prepared the back by putting on some painters tape and some giant push pins I made sure the canvas is nice and tight and level because I don't want my painting to pool paint to pool in the middle or slide off the sides anyway so what colors am I going to be using today in my painting. Well, as I said, for the base, I'm going to be using just normal acrylic paints today, and I'm thinning them out with a um, flow troll and a little bit of water. So I'm using some Montmartre titanium white, uh, about 400 grams of that, and I'm mixing it with about 400 grams of flow troll. Now, it'll still be a little on the thick side, so I'll put in a little bit of water as well to get the consistency that I want. And I'll show you that consistency in a bit. Then I'll spread it out and tip it out over the canvas to get a nice even layer. And then I'll apply the colours. Now, as I said, I'm using my Bloom recipe today. And you'll see that on the right hand side of your screen. But the, the pouring medium for the Bloom recipe is a mix of um, untinted acrylic water-based house paint. Um, and it says extra bright there. The color stays nice and true if you use the, the extra bright untinted paint. And to that, I mix some polyurethane varnish, um, some Joe Sonia's polyurethane varnish. And you can see the measurements there on the right hand side then the pouring medium you mix with the colors now last time i used all blues and greens and my customer wanted a complementary painting using pinks and reds so that's what i'm using today so for joe sonia's colors i'm using their naphthol crimson and um, their lovely brilliant magenta some burgundy and some rich gold and if you saw the last video you would have seen that i used some deco art extreme sheen metallics and they work pretty well so i'm going to add some of those again today so i'm using their rose quartz and their berry color so they're the colors i'm mixing today with my my pouring medium and I'll show you again the consistency in a bit. Then to get the lovely lacing effects on the top um, I'm using a mix of Amsterdam acrylic uh, titanium white and flow troll. I've got the bottle somewhere but it's the Amsterdam brand you can use any color you like but I'm using the titanium white today and I'm using that one part titanium white to two parts flow troll. Right, let's get started. Righto, we've got the canvas ready. Hopefully you can see that okay. Now I'll just show you the consistency of the paint I'm using for my background. If I do that little twirly shape, the bump of paint stays on the surface for about three seconds or a bit less. One, two, three. Which I think is reasonable that's what I used for uh, the painting I did last week um, so I'll use that for the background now I didn't tip very much off last time and I ended up with a little bit too much left on the canvas so I might be a little bit more generous with my tilting and tipping just to get a bit of a thinner even surface over the canvas I don't want it too thin because I still want to swipe my colors out reasonably well today okay here we go. I'll just pour it randomly on. Don't normally like scraping out the cups because sometimes there's lumps at the bottom. 
that get into my painting. might just keep a teeny bit just in case I need to fix any mistakes. Now I'll just spread it out a bit using the palette knife makes it easier to tilt around. As you can see I've got plenty on there. Now, I don't want it too thin in case I do want to tilt it a bit once I've done the painting to like spread out the lacing a little bit. Wasn't too successful with that last time. So I don't imagine it's going to be any different this time. But you, you never know. You never know. Okay. But very messy. All right. Now yeah, we'll just tilt it a bit, get my sides covered. The corners. That's that corner. When it moves, it moves quick. Just want to do this corner. Okay, now that was a bit more generous than last time. Now make sure my sides are all covered. Just pick up a bit of paint that dripped off. Just dab it on the canvas. Try not to drip all over the floor. It's usually the corners that don't get quite covered. But you can just pick up a bit of paint with your palette knife. Cover the corners. Now I hope I haven't tipped off too much now. That's always the, the risk. Didn't do enough last time, too much this time. You never, you never know. Okay, that's that. Ugh, just wipe off my gloves a bit. I'll get white everywhere. Always handy to have a cloth or two nearby. It's pouring with rain outside, so I don't want to go outside and rinse under the tap. If I can help it, I'll have a shower. Okay, oh, missed a little bit. Those little bits. Okay. Now I'll torch the painting. Oh, I don't have my gun. Hang on, I'll just get the gun. Not very organised today, am I? This is my blowtorch. It's got a local hardware store. Now I'll just pop some bubbles. Don't get too close or you'll burn the paint. So my surface is prepared, I hope. All right, now I need to start at this corner because I did the other one from that corner and they're like next to each other. And I'll do a, a general swirly shape finishing over here somewhere. Now I was just thinking which color I would start off with and I thought I would start off with the burgundy today. Okay. So I said I'll start down here. Now 
Mm-hmm. You finish up there. Okay, that's the burgundy. Now I'll use some red, I think, and pink, yes. Because I do want alternating colours. So I'll put some red here. Go to the other side. Just alternate. Just enough red. And then the pink. Pink, I'll do the other side. It's thundering outside at the moment. We've had torrential rain for the last few days and it's flooding everywhere. So I thought it was good weather for standing in the garage and doing some painting. Oops. I do have more pink. I'll just get some more pink. Just a second. Yes, I always mix up a lot. Bit splattered everywhere. That should cover up okay. magenta and then I'll get some gold I don't want to overpower it with gold and then I've got some of my Alex. Ah, now, which way will I do them? I might do the darker one. Or oh, that's on this side. Magenta. And then the rose quartz I'll do with the the pink on the lighter side. On the with the red on the other side. Like so. And do I have any of this left? Yes, I might just do a little, just a little bit of the burgundy on the top. Now that's heaps of paint. Heaps of paint. 
Now, my um, swiping over the top is where the magic happens. So I'll put the, the swipe color, that's the Amsterdam paint and um, Floetrol on my wall scraper. And then I will swipe um, using that. Okay, so I'll pour a little bit on. Now I find playing cards work really well. So that's what I'm using today. I'll use the, the short side. Start in the middle. And then do like a leaf shape without trying to, without dribbling everywhere. And if your card gets too, too dirty, then turn it around, we'll get a new one. than I would have liked it to be I think hmm what can I do there Okay, now how's it looking? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad.
out there are a few bits I want to get rid of maybe but I might do some wisping first see what I can do there there's my skewer it's my skewer I'll just put the vein up through still a bit thick in some spots but I don't think there is anything I can do about that I just hope it doesn't crack as it dries so I'll just get rid of a couple of the drips Just to tidy things up a little bit. Okay, I think I'm done. I'll give it a little bit of a torch in a moment. I was really worried there for a bit that I had wrecked it, but putting those little wispy things through with the paint skewer, I think really improved things a lot. I like the movement of the paint, perhaps a little bit busy up there, but yeah, I think that the overall effect is just lovely. And if you look closely, I've got some, some really beautiful cells and lacing happening. The extreme sheen paints, they create their own effects. And we also get the, the lacing from the Amsterdam paint and varnishes and everything as well. So I think that that looks really lovely. Don't particularly keen on that blob there, but yeah, I don't want to play with that. So say if you're mostly happy with it, don't play with it anymore. 
because you may wreck it. Okay, I'll give it a bit of a, a torch, pop bubbles and promote this cell action. made a mess today anyway I'll just tidy up the bottom edges of the canvas with my palette knife I'll move it to another table and then I'll bring you in for a closer look so here we go the finished painting now it's going to hang on the wall portrait style I'll just turn you around this way and bring you in closer you can see that the lacing effects that you get are just lovely. I really do like the movement in this painting. Now I did get a bit stuck up at this end, perhaps a little bit too much colour here, but I don't think in the grand scheme of things it, it matters too much. So what did you think of that one? I think it turned out really well in the end, though I was a little bit worried while I was swiping, particularly at the top end of the painting. I just had lots of paint and, and nowhere to swipe it to. But once I'd done fiddling with it, I think the overall effect was really lovely. And I hope my client likes it as well. Fingers crossed it dries well. You never know sometimes. Is that a technique you'd like to have a go at yourself? Hopefully I've inspired you to try something new this week. Anyway, it's time for me to clean up now. I've really made a mess this time. And it's time for you to go, unfortunately. But as usual, if you enjoyed what you saw today, please take a moment to press the like button. And if you'd like to see more of my content, please take a moment to subscribe and press the little notification bell. Well, I hope you have a great week ahead and I look forward to seeing you again next time. In the meantime, happy painting.